So here are two resistors in series. So they one is connected to the other, like that formation. And if we look at the resistance in that formation, so they're both the same value, 10 kilo ohms of resistance or 10,000 ohms of resistance. And if we look at those values in series, so if we look at just the one resistor, it should come out being pretty close to 10 kilo ohms of resistance. So we're at 9.76 kilo ohms of resistance. Now if we put another one of the approximately the same value in series with that, the resistance will double. So we are at 19.71. So if you do the math there, it is twice the value of the original resistor. Now if we place these in parallel, something interesting happens. So here is the parallel resistor formation. So you have one resistor and another resistor connected at the same points at either end. So that's parallel resistance. And instead of doubling, I'll show you what happens. The value gets divided in half. Now if we add a third resistor in parallel with those two, if you can get it in here, come on, there we go. Now it is a third of the original resistance. So if I were to add a fourth, it would be a quarter, and so on and so forth. So that's how you can do some basic calculations in your head as to how resistance will change if they're more in parallel or less in parallel. So there you go, parallel resistance.